Hi guys. <laughs> guys, welcome back to the Geordie Wild Camper. We're out in Buttermere today. Guys, tell you what, it's so busy here at Buttermere. First break in the window that we've had in terms of weather. Car park's rammed, so this should be fun. We're heading up Red Pike. Jess is a little bit scared of these. I'm not surprised with them horns, but. Ooh! You're a little bit scared there. Uh, yeah. So I'm excited to get out today actually. We've been itching to get some decent weather and it looks like we're gonna get the break that we needed. So I'm out with Jess today. She's been out on a couple of trips. But it's his first altitude camp probably. Uh, we're looking about 800 meters I think for high crag so we'll see how we get on. She's gonna regret it. I don't think so. She's got all the gear and the idea. You're not good. Oh. You're not good. <laughs> no. I'm not all far at all. Not far. But look how lush it looks. That's so much better than that. Got Robinson oh. along there. Ronald Eel Knots further down. Excellent. So I don't know how many of you use GoPros, a few other YouTubers out there, but I just got a formatting error and they want us to format the card. If you know anything about this, let us know. I managed to switch the device off and back on, it seemed to work okay. Don't know, you know, when you video record and you want to be able to capture as much footage as you want, but if it's going to be needing format and you're going to lose it all, I kind of lose my trust. So me and Jess came up here. Probably, what, about a month ago? Yeah. About a month ago, and it was lashing down. There was just horrible fog and clag. And there was nobody here. Different story, the sun's out. Clear weather, a few clouds, due about three o'clock. And then it's meant to be clear all night, up until the morning. So we're hoping to get a cracking sunset and sunrise, which I'm sure you'll see if we do. Yeah, we've literally just stopped for a little five minute break. Probably a couple of hundred metres up, probably 200 metres. See over there. They shot a Fleetworth in the sun in the clouds. Robinson all the way along. It's looking great. It's looking really good. How are you feeling? Fine. Getting some water on board? Yes. See, it might only be here yeah, stacks, you'll think, oh, it's, it's not far. It actually quite, it quite is a steep incline to start off with and that levels off. Once we get the level off bit, we've got to turn right. Instead of going left to here stacks, we're going to go over the top, a high crag, and then onto Red Pike. <sighs> All right, we're plowing on with this. We're making some good time, actually. It's going pretty well. Jess is smashing it, which is good. She might say different, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we're not at the point of not talking. We're not at the point of not talking, which is good. So we're just going to get to the point where you turn left to go to here stacks and then we're going to take a right to go uh, high style high crag and a red pike and hopefully find somewhere along there to camp for the night depending on the wind if not we're just going to drop down into blueberry torn and have a nice little camp there just stopped on the way up to here stacks here stacks just up on the left there or the right on the screen you can see Pill on the back there, covered in snow. Actually, I think Pillar's on that bit there. That's not Pillar. I don't know. No, it's people up there. Oh, is that where we scrambled Yeah, we scrambled all the way up there to here stacks. A little bit of a scrambling point, but we're headed. Hope you. Let's get this finger right. There you go. Boosh. Let's see what the views are like over the top. So guys, about three, three point seven in, an hour, hour and a half, and we're just heading up the high crag now. But look at our earlier segment. 
I said that was pillar, it's not that pillar. With the snow on. Looks amazing. We've got a bit of a scramble here. Yeah, a little bit of a scramble coming up. <laughs> Feeling alright about it? Yeah. Yeah. It was doing so so well. Because that's this is a pretty hard trek. It looks like when we're just down in the little alley there, gully there, and um, the wind was picking up, so we might end up a blueberry torn in all honesty but i think hiking is very much just regulating your body temperature i've had this off on jacket on jacket off trying to stay cool and trying not to sweat and get cold so we're just coming along there um top of high crag now we're gonna make our way up to high style a little bit of a scramble there on the way up but not too bad overall you can see a little bit of snow a little bit of ice and snow left over. I think it did rain last night and a little bit of snow sleet came down, so to be expected. It's actually quite a few spots around here. Just to show you, I think you can see Jess over there trundling along, carrying about 8 kilograms, so decent amount of weight. I think mine's about 14, and you feel it when you're pulling up on some of those scrambles. You just have to be careful. Plenty of water and food and clothes in the Cloud Peak 2, which I'd be probably happy to have in about up to 25 mile an hour. I think anything over that, it's no good. So we'll see what it's like on the top. heading up here high style kind of wave it around but let's see how happy we are when we get to the top eh? some have sent this up the face eh? high style you can see high crag that's haystacks in the back there you can see uh, dubs hut there and then coming along the pillar all sorts Robinson, Fleetworth Pike We're just heading up here Nice A little bit windy at the top Just died off a little bit hasn't it? Just a little bit Well it's definitely cold A little bit of snow Oh my god look at this man Perfect. Sun's just come out. How are you doing? I'm all right. It's getting there. <laughs> doing well, aren't you? Good job. Good job. <laughs> Solway Firth over there. Not the Solway Firth. Solway. See Scotland. All this here. Wind's just died down ever so slightly there, which was good. And we just had something to eat, a nice little dinner. Tuna and sweet corn, pack of quavers. Nice. And some Lucasade, just to fuel the next part of the journey. So, um, gonna head up high, high style, onto Red Pike, and then drop down. Hopefully, that isn't too bad. And hopefully we'll get a nice little spot. I think we're resigned to uh, camping at Bleaberry Taunt, to be honest. Just to be on the safe side. Honestly, once that sun comes out, it's red hot. Really warm, but gloves. Red hot, warmer than it was before. It was freezing, absolutely freezing. It was whipping over. But look at this, man. Woohoo! Lush. As we get over here, start to see it opening up a bit here. Scorfell there, uh, Scorfell Pike. Jess all wrapped up. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> keen hiker. <laughs> Thinks you've been doing like, this for oh, years. When the sun comes out, it's red hot. <laughs> it's not like. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Whose video was it? He's lying. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, keep us in check, eh? <laughs> oh, look at this, man. 
Put them here down there. Lovely. It is lovely. Lovely. Top of high style here. Looking spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. And then this is towards our final destination down there. So follow this route all along, drop down, and then cut in on the left there to Blueberry Town. Jess has just had cramp coming up. So I get some fluids and some electrolytes and whatever. Made to the bottom of uh, high style now. We're just pushing along. Up there, Red Pike, and then down Red Pike. Now, hopefully, we're going to get a nice little spot in Blueberry. The only problem we're going to have is it's going to be out the sun, so it might be a bit nippy. Just descending down Red Pike. You can just see Blueberry Torn just in the corner there on the right hand side. A little bit slippy down this part. Some outstanding views across there. And then looking back up the high style there. Too windy on the top. Too windy on the top as we thought. So Blueberry torn it is. Right. Blueberry torn. Gonna find ourselves a nice pitch. Not quite sure where yet. There's not lots of spaces. I'm sure we'll find one. And a bar view as well. Not a bad view as well. Oh, legs are starting to go a little bit there. Just on the way back down. But, there we go. So we're still descending down from Blee, uh, Bleeberry Torn. Bit chattered now, like to be perfectly honest. Legs are wobbling a bit. Jess is probably never ever going to come back. I'm not, unless we go for pints. There you go. So if I find a pub, I might be able to redeem myself. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to push along the front, the waterfront of Buttermere. It's a bit of a wooded area. We'll wait till it's a little bit darker. And then, uh will the tent up. Right, we're just making my way along Buttermere yeah, looking for, for a potential spot. I'll be honest, there isn't many. The set of woods coming up, which we'll, we'll have a little look at, but if not, there is some um, youth hostel campsites which we might just nip along to. Seems a waste to carry all this gear and not be able to camp. <laughs> the 10k that we've done. Yeah, Jess is laughing about that. So we'll bring his back if we find somewhere. What do you want to do? What do I want to do? Yeah. Out of what? The two options. Right, what's the option? Right, why that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll find somewhere yeah, in there. Like flat, flat surface. Or. Or. Kind of spot with a pub. <laughs> Um, you choose. No, I've asked you. You're the guest. <laughs> I'm the guest. Yeah, um, I'm just feeling quite to see the pub. Right, okay. Guys, you heard it here first. I did not make that choice. That was Jess. 
Um, yeah. Is it a bad choice? No, no. No, not at all, because... Uh, I'm secretly hoping that it's... Yeah, I'm secretly hoping, so we're going to do that. Uh, a little bit of a lesson learned on this one. Can you make sure you record now? Press the record button first and foremost. Uh, but we followed an old trails app, uh, map, sorry, that took us round uh, High Crag, High Style and Red Pike. We've done it anti-clockwise with the thought being we'd camp on Red Pike. Um, wind was a little bit too much to be perfectly honest. Uh, if you've been watching the rest of the video, you know I had the Cloud Peak 2, which isn't really a mountain tent, a tent as such. It would probably handle 25, 30 mile an hour winds but the gusts were getting well, pretty high up there we didn't want to risk it um, if we'd done it the opposite way around the right way around could have bombed up here stacks and got a decent pitch up there but instead we're, we're going, going to, to the pub we're going to the <laughs> pub not a bad option we'll bring you back at least on youtube <laughs> Uh, let's be honest, it didn't happen. How many pints? Just two. Just two. Yeah, I'm going to get a red wine. I'm going to get a third. But uh, we managed to get in the Sky campsite and that's, that's where we're going to stay. So we'll bring you back in the morning. Good morning guys, welcome back. Last night took a little bit of a turn after our epic, epic hike. We couldn't find anywhere to camp. Um, we managed to come down to uh, the Sky campsite just in Buttermere and pitch up here, which is a great little spot actually. Um, and then headed to the pub, which I've, you've probably seen a little bit of footage from there as well. Jess just took up. Nice and warm. Yeah. Nice and warm. Not cool at all. Nice and quiet at the campsite, which is exactly what you want. Right, I think I'll sign off. So, thank you very much for watching. If you're still watching, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and leave a comment. And until next time, peace out.